it'll cost me $102,088 for four years of college. On March 19th, I committed to Shippensburg University. Um, so as of now, I'm currently a senior in high school, going to York Academy Regional Charter School. Um, and I'll start at Shippensburg this fall semester. I'm going to be pursuing uh, communications and focusing on broadcasting. Ultimately, my goal is to travel the world. Uh, I want to be a documentary filmmaker. This does, in fact, relate to college, um, and it helped influence my college search, uh, especially for Shippensburg because they offer four different uh, focuses in the communications department but I was between either broadcasting or public relations where I eventually landed on broadcasting because it just seems a lot more applicable to the travel documentary work uh, which I hope will be this will be the first video of that especially on this channel but when I was assigning on colleges I was between Arcadia, Duquesne, and Shippensburg University. Um, right off the bat, I took off Duquesne simply because I just wasn't a fan of the co big college life. The university is great, and there's a lot that it brings to the table, just simply not for me. Just really just for the size and location, I wasn't a huge fan of Pittsburgh. But then I'm left with Arcadia and Shippensburg. Arcadia took off the list, obviously, going to Shippensburg. But I was able to take it off the list simply because of the cost. It's going to run you about $60,000 a year at Arcadia, which is quite a bit of money. And it's really just, it's not obtainable to carry $200,000 of debt with my ambitions in life. Um, so instead, aiming at about eighty dollars to $100,000, you know, nothing too crazy. Um, but that then brings to the cost breakdown, where I'm gonna start with the raw cost and then I'll go into scholarships and I actually have a plan or kind of like a, a goal to graduate in three years. Uh, real quick though, disclaimer, none of these costs include winter or summer classes, which I do plan on pursuing, but I'll look into that more when the time comes after having at least a semester or two under my belt. Um, and this will be a little bit cheaper Mostly just because you're not covering housing or food bills, um, at least not for the university. I mean, you still got to figure out where you're living um, during that time, but I'll just come back with my parents. Anyways, so the cost per credit for all Pennsylvania residents, which I am, after all of your fees, runs $478. Um, and I plan on taking 50 credits a semester, which cost $7,170. Uh, and for those of you who don't know, to have really, I mean, the, the rule of thumb for your bachelor's degree is that you need 120 credits to graduate. So 50 credits a semester uh, puts you exactly at four years of college. But the next main cost is going to be housing, which varies quite a lot at uh, Shippensburg, which is, again, one of the perks because there are so many options. Um, you have about five suite options, and then you also have communal housing, which eventually, I mean, simple math. You have six housing options to choose from. I chose uh, suite B, which is essentially a traditional dorm room. You have a shared bedroom, um, or shared living space, rather, with one roommate, a normal bunk bed, you have a desk, uh, nothing too crazy. But what makes it a little better than uh, communal housing, in my opinion, is that you have your own private closet, um, not just a dresser but like an actual closet in addition to a dresser in the living space and then you also have your own private bathroom and it's a full bath this cost three thousand eight hundred and twenty five dollars a semester and then the last major cost is going to be your meal plan which i'm just going real simple uh, the standard 14 meals a week so two meals a day uh, not including breakfast most likely just because that's really simple and i i think i got that um but this also includes the $250 in flex money, which totals $1,766. And these also going to be your other fees, like your books, um, but I'm not going to know until they show up, so I'm not including this into a cost breakdown, and I'll deal with it whenever it... But all that being said, cost per semester, just based on those big three, uh, is going to be $12,761, which becomes $25,522 a year, 
and it'll cost me $102,088 for four years of college. Then, like I said earlier, I do kind of want to fast track college, ultimately hoping in three years so that way I graduate whenever I'm just about a fresh 20. So to do this, I will need to do about 20 credits a semester, but you need dean approval if you do anything more than 17. So let's say I don't, I don't get that approval, I might need to drop it back a little bit and work on those summer and winter classes. But again, not entirely sure how much I want to do in that time until I get some experience in the college life. But the cost for those 20 credits a semester, again, strictly the education cost is $9,560. Um, the housing and food costs are going to be the same, but the yearly cost comes to $30,302, um, which is more expensive per year, but the three-year cost is $90,906, which is slightly cheaper. But keep in mind, all of these costs are without scholarships, and as of now, I've only got one scholarship, which is $2,500 a year. So with the scholarship taking into consideration, the three-year cost now comes down to $83,406, and the four-year cost is knocked down to $92,088. Um, so the next thing is that I'm currently a full DP student. Um, if you know what that means, um, part of the International Baccalaureate Program, which is essentially the, the global um, equivalent to an AP class. Anyway, Stevensburg only takes three of my credits from IB, and that's going to be my HL or higher level um, classes. And I'm not taking this into consideration because this is all dependent on my final exam. The art class that I'm taking can give me up to three credits, biology is going to give me four, and math anywhere from four to seven credits, assuming that I get passing test scores. So that can total up to 14 credits and saves about $6,692. But I'm not taking that into consideration until after my exams coming up in this May. In the meantime, I'm going to continue looking at scholarships. Um, hopefully, I'll get some more and just kind of keep keep things rolling. Um, I'll update this video in probably about a year from now after uh, first two semesters of college to kind of see what happens. If you're interested in following my journey, feel free to subscribe uh, to my channel. And if you have any questions, leave in the comment section below. I'll answer that the best as I can. Thank you for watching.